Welcome back to Gospel Gardener. On our last episode, we were going to transplant the basil, and as you can see, they've been transplanted. We ended up with one, two, three, four, and five. They're all looking very healthy, and this is the biggest one. Amen? We're looking forward to making some homemade pesto with our basil that we planted from seed. We've put down some more pavers. Here is one of our tomato plants we've got on the side of the house. It's recently rained and kind of knocked it around a little bit, but it does have some more tomatoes. We've just picked off some. Let's see. Yeah, we got some more tomatoes coming in. And we've had a visitor. We're not sure what attacked our leaves, but as you can see, some of the leaves have been munched on. This happened overnight. And since we're trying to do this all organically, um, I'm not trying to put any poison on here. So we just prayed, and the rain, I think, washed off the insects. I'm not quite sure what's coming after the leaves, but the plant itself is healthy. So I'm not too worried about it. It's one of many. I have about 50 tomato plants. Our mint, on the other hand, we forgot to water and it dried out pretty pretty bad. I've watered it and hopefully it will come back. We've also planted some marigolds and they were doing really good but they got really really wet and uh, well we're believing in them to come back too. They'll come back. Our pepper plant on the other side of our tote garden is doing very well actually we've pulled up all the radishes that were on the bottom and now all we have left is one pepper plant and we've got a big pepper here that's our second one and this is our third one and there's several more flowers as you can see they seem to do good in the heat I'm learning this year what likes the heat and what doesn't Our Kentucky Wonder snap beans are still hanging in there and we have lots of beans on them. If I can get you close up here. Lots of beans on our Kentucky Wonder bean. That's some more. They need to be harvested today. give you a back shot here. An overall view of the Kentucky Wonder Bean on the side of the house. You can see how high it's gotten. And again, that's an 18 gallon tote that we've used. All the, all the totes are 18 gallon except for, uh, I believe, the pepper tote and the strawberry tote. Our strawberry toad is looking good, although strawberries are about out of season. It's still putting out a couple here and there, but they're very small, as you can see. They're not as big as they were. But we started out with three, and this whole tote is now full. And as you can see, it's put off many runners. If you take these runners and plant them, you can make individual strawberry plants out of them and they will come back year after year. One of our little visitors. Okay, one of our tomato plants, and it's doing rather well. It's just loaded with tomatoes. Here's one in the middle. As you can see, it's ripening nicely. And we have several others. There's a lot of tomatoes on this tomato plant, and it didn't start producing until it got really, really, really hot. So a lot of these plants, believe it or not, will do better in the hot season if you keep them reasonably watered. There's another tomato down there that's ripening. Ox with our squash, our yellow squash, and it's just taking off. It's filled up the box and coming out of the box now. 
again, 18 gallon totes is what we use with miracle Grow. And that's got two squash plants in it and a tomato plant in the background that we planted. I wasn't sure how much you could plant in a tote. And so this is our first year, but the tomato plant and the squash are getting along really well. And as you can see, there's tomatoes all over the vine. That's our second tomato plant. And these are just regular slicing tomatoes. Amen. And there's the one next door to it. So they would be about two feet apart, each tomato plant. The squash plant is also doing really well. It's got flowers all over it. It's doing really, really, really well. And, oh yes, there are some carrots down there, believe it or not. That being said, um, probably I won't put that much in a tote next year if I do this again. We won't put carrots. I mean, I think that's a little, a little bit much, but... Oh, there's a squash. Let's see. Yep, time to pick that squash. Well, we'll get that later. And our next tote is cucumbers. Our cucumbers are doing very well. They're, they die off a little bit at the bottom, but the main uh, plant is doing extremely well. It's growing way up the wall. I have yet to finish closing in this wall, but it's growing up the wall. And as you remember, at the beginning of the season, we put up the wire, and it worked really well. It's grabbing onto the wire. And we have some really big cucumbers out here today. I'm trying to get a hold of it. If you, I don't know how my gloves on. Let's see. There's one cucumber. There's several on here. There's another one. And there's two more. <coughs> Two more down there. Two more. We've gotten uh, quite a few cucumbers off of this cucumber plant. And the tomato is trying to come into the cucumbers. The next tote... Oh, sorry. And there are some more carrots down here in this box, too. Again, I don't know if they're going to produce or not, but the tops are looking rather healthy. It just rained last night on them. So they're looking good. We have to trim some of these dead leaves off. The next tote is our blueberry, misty blueberries. They're doing really well. They've also stopped producing. They may come back in the fall and produce some more. I'm not sure. They did produce very, very well in the spring. Whoops. Oh. Oh. And then last box on the tomato side is uh, cherry tomatoes. Again, we'll step back and give you a view. This was six small tomato, cherry tomato plants. We put in a tote and it just sort of took off. And now it's basically a tomato bush. And it's loaded, loaded with tomatoes. Everywhere you look, see tomatoes. If you have a good a crop or a good plant, my advice would be save some of the seeds for next year. No diseases, uh, very little problems with any of these plants so far, so I'm going to save the seeds for next year's planting. I'm very pleased with what I've gotten down here on these cherry tomatoes. It says cherry, but they look more like a plum tomato. They may be a plum. Oops, there's one that came off. That one's ready to go, and it's probably going to take a couple more in the house with me today. <sighs> Amen. <laughs> Got a few ants on there, but not too bad. And I'll, oh. Last but not least is our thornless blackberry, and it is still hanging in there. We thought we had a little issues at the beginning of the season, but we sprayed and we prayed. And the cane seems to be doing really well Up down here. I think it just got uh, some light mildew on it is all it was, and it's still producing. It's putting up some shoots. All of these big shoots are, are brand new shoots. 
And on blackberries, there's your cane, and then the other shoots. Cane is the main cane is the one that produces the fruit. Amen. And I put up a light trellis to put the so I could put the berries on it, kind of training it to grow in the tote. Amen. And we've thrown started throwing some pavers down. Amen. And well, we're getting there. This has been your host today, Minister Cameron, with Gospel Gardener, saying we hope all your gardens are growing green this year too. And God bless till we meet again.